Hi guys, my name is Matthias, and yes, um, I just wanted to bring you a quick video on Night of the Dead. Um, probably going to release this on Friday. And yeah, before you start Night of the Dead, um, and yeah, before you start Night of the Dead, just go buy it, guys. A lot of you have asked me for a single player survival game, you know, that you would enjoy like mist you know and uh, seven days to die and you know there's there's tons of single player games out there this is it okay if you're wondering what game you will enjoy and what game you can set the difficulty to where you want it and what game will give you a really good challenge and will be very addicting and which is extremely cheap this is it but before you start it's a very important thing that you know which difficulty level you want to play on and this video is just going to explain the difficulty level to you because i think that is very 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 important because you build traps to use as a tower defense which i have learned a lot of and i will be um giving you a few tips through the weekend but what i want you guys to focus on is when it comes to difficulty three things change to what i've seen First of all, you do, the enemies have less health. So I won't say you do more damage, but the enemies have less health, so it takes you know, less time to kill them. The second thing is that they do more damage to you. Okay, so you die much quicker. And then the third thing for me is that there are a lot more enemies in the world. Okay, let's call them zombies. There's a lot more zombies in the world. Now, to show you the damage, and the reason I want to show you the damage is that your traps don't do more damage, okay? But the enemies get tougher as the days go by. You will see there in the top right-hand corner, there's a skull with a clock. As soon as the white clock is done, then the horde comes. Normally 12 o'clock at night, it's 11 o'clock in the morning at the moment. What we're going to use as a health measurement, okay, is our bow. The bow does 10 damage. And the knife does seven. I thought the bow only did five damage, but okay, the bow now does ten damage. Okay, don't know if they updated that, but in any case. So, with ten, ten damage, what we can do is we can shoot them in the chest and measure their health. Just to give you guys an idea, okay? So, as you will see, I'm here, I spawn, you always spawn at the beginning of a dead end road. And... You will see that the numbers of zombies, okay, aren't a lot, okay? I can walk around quite freely, and now we're going to see how many arrows it takes to kill a zombie. One, two, two arrows in the chest, okay? So we've got a measurement of about 20 health that they have, 20 health or less, okay? Above 10, below 20. So let's just check here again. One, two. One, two. Okay. So clearly between, between 10 and 20, and you can see, now I can loot the house. Okay. I can get all the loot inside here. Not a lot stopping me. Okay. So if you just want to build a base, um, you know, and have fun, and you don't want to challenge at all, you know, you just want to check see the whole map because this map is freaking huge guys i'm telling you this map is huge okay and you get clues of areas that you have to find and everything but this is peaceful mode okay so as you will see while i'm running around here there's no threats i can loot um you know i can take my time building my base because the first horde i can probably kill without a base okay because they die so easily so your threat level is basically zero and as you can see we are struggling to see any mutants and even with this first bow that you get okay it's very easy to kill um zombies and if i can just get a headshot here okay and okay you do you do get tough ones 
you do get tough ones, but you can just take all, you know, get your arrows back. Okay, so here we are on hard. Um, since the knife, since you start out with a knife, okay, it's going to be a very good way to gauge for you guys how much health they have. So with the first one, they took three shots, okay, to kill with a knife because they had, they had about 20 health, okay. This is easy. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they take four shots. So probably about 25 health, okay? We can say about 25 health. And as you can see, we already got two mutants there in the road. So this is the starting area. This is the first area I'm walking into, okay? And then we can just quickly look at the damage that they can do. I, we can already see they're doing a bit more, but we just want to see, you know, what we can do with a knife. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's in his legs. But four shots overall, guys. So it's probably going to take... Um, four times seven. Okay, let me just get out of here. Four times seven is 28, so it's going to take... I think it's still going to take three shots with the arrow. But yeah, as you guys can see, e this is easy. This is the second difficulty. Not too bad, but still not a challenge. Okay, still not a challenge. Um, this, this is the knife that you start with. You can build a lot of cool stuff. Okay, like weapons. You can get a lot of cool weapons. And this is the only thing that's stopping you, is mutants when you want to loot an area. Okay, so that's what makes the game difficult. The mutants where you want to loot an area, and when you want to kill them with traps. Okay, the most important thing about the health is how long your traps take to kill them. As you can see, me looting everything is not difficult at all, okay? So extremely quick start. Um, unfortunately, we can't really gauge the damage of the bow. I thought it did 5 damage, so I thought I could do increments of 5. But 10 damage is also giving us a very rough estimate. So, yeah. The overall standard zombie takes 4 knife shots now, okay? So he probably has... 24, let's say the first one had 20 health, you know, this one has 25 health. There's more, there's a little bit more zombies, okay, and they do a little bit more damage, okay. Okay, here we are in normal, guys, and peaceful, easy, and normal is very, very important because those are the only difficulty levels that have been changed since the game came out, okay. So they alter these difficulty levels a lot. Because that's where most of the people complain about the difficulty. And the good thing that I feel people complain about is the grind. You know, they... It's preference, but uh, I don't really like how very large YouTubers cover the small games. Because they want to run through the game as fast as possible. You know, cover as much games as they can in a year. And just ask their community for help, you know, say so their community is actually playing the game for them and giving them tips, you know, instead of the content creator giving the community tips. Um, so they are giving, you know, them tips to finish the game as soon as possible and they don't like any kind of grind, you know, and they just want to fly through the game as, much, as fast as possible, which really um, rubs me the wrong way. You know, because I really love games and I feel the amount of time it goes into creating a game like this. You know, it's it's really bad when a guy just wants to run through your game, you know, because he's only interested in views and subscribers, you know. And he's not really worried about um, adding quality to your game, you know. So they complain a heck of a lot about difficulty. Um, they do complain about harvesting as well, but I feel the harvesting was a bit difficult in the beginning. It was a bit grindy, so they fixed all the, that. But the main point is, guys, peaceful, easy, and normal. It gets changed a lot because all the large YouTubers either play on easy or normal. 
okay, because they want to run through the game as fast as possible. So, this is normal, okay, this is where most of the guys play, and I've seen a few YouTubers play on easy as well, and still complain, okay, so, yeah, don't really want to watch them anymore, especially on this game, but in any case, um, this is normal, so you can see more mutants, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, so, immediately you can see a difference with normal, Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it's about five or six. Let's say six. Okay. Six times seven. About 40. I'd say about 35 damage. So it looks like there's quite a big jump from easy to normal. Okay. This is where most people play. But again, again okay and remember they complain on these difficulty levels so look at this i'm walking here with a knife okay this is a tough guy this big boy is really tough It does original damage, but I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing, guys. That's the big thing. I am not stressing. There is dead, okay? So I'm walking in here with a knife. And clearing all room with a knife. And here I get the baseball bat. And there I get the AK. And here I get the bullets. Is she going to interrupt me? No, she's not going to interrupt me. Then I just take the gun. Easy peasy. Where is she? Did she run out? Did she run out? Oh, yeah. She's stuck there. Are you stuck in the wall? Okay. Okay. So now... I'm just showing you guys the progression. This is normal. And now we've got, now we've got a bat. Okay, we've got a bat. The bat does 23 damage. Okay, so I'm sure these guys' health are underneath 40. But this is where the challenge comes in, guys. The challenge isn't building your base. The base building is cool. You know, you, you chop bushes um, with your knife to get resources. You, you chop down the trees. You hit the, the stones. You hit the black stones for iron ore. And uh, the base building is is the cool part of the game, okay? The challenge is the other loot that you need to get, which you can't get from natural resources. So you have to kill these guys. But now that I've got the bat... Okay? I've got her majesty here. Okay, they do a, a pack. A pack does does present a, a, a challenge. Okay, so if you put yourself into an airy situation, it can present a challenge, but still. This is where most people play and this difficulty level gets changed to the balance, okay? So if you just want a very smooth game that everyone that everyone's playing on, go for normal, okay? It will pose a bit of a challenge and I feel this is a happy medium for casual players because the main thing is that your traps, you, ca you can do more damage by getting better gear like you can see here. You know, I've got an AK. The AK only did 16 damage and now the AK is doing 20 damage. Yo, yo, it only did... Uh, it looks like they changed the damage stats. That's probably how they're making normal, you know, normal and easy 
um, peaceful, easy, and normal. How they make it uh, easier. The knife always does seven. It's just weird for me. That I think the AK does sixteen, and I think the bat did less damage than the spear. Okay, the, the, this bat definitely did less damage than the spear. But in any case, normal is where all of you guys are going to want to play. Okay, normal is where all of you guys are going to play. Just know that when you upgrade your guy, you can let your character with research, you can let your character do more damage. Uh, you can get better weapons. You can let your every single weapon do more damage by upgrading, you know, a specific weapon. And then at some point, you're going to breeze through everything. Okay, but at least Horde Knight is not gonna not gonna take too long. Okay, because your traps always do the same damage, so normal will be perfect for Horde Knight, so that you don't struggle too much there. But going through the world, you know, at some point it's gonna be a breeze. Okay, so this is where I feel most of you should play. Now let's go look at hard. Okay, where I am gonna start my. Um, hardcore series that when I die, I die and it's game over. But I'm going to play on hard because that is enough of a challenge for me before it starts, before their health starts becoming a grind for me. Okay guys, so this is hard mode and this is this is the, the, the balance for me. As you can see, you always start at a dead end road, okay? And then you can pick up the boxes and stuff like that. So... They show you what resource you get from the boxes, the cars, and, you know, these drums. But I'm going to give you guys very, very, very good tips that I've learned. Because I've played the game for about six or seven hours already. Just figuring out certain things. Analyzing everything. Um, you know, so that when I make... And the difficulty was very important for me. Okay? Because I never want the game to get boring. I never want the game to stop being a challenge. So... According to me, they only changed um, hard, um, no, peaceful, easy, and normal, okay? Hard and and difficulty levels below that, they haven't re-edited. As you can see, right in the beginning area, I've got four mutants, okay? Now, let's see how tough they are with a knife. As you can see right from the start, I am experiencing a challenge with a knife. Okay, this guy is not this guy is not gonna be accurate, but in any case. Yeah, oh, he's a special dude. Yeah, my graphics are on medium guys. I'm gonna set it up when I get the upgrade in a few days. It's not always this easy. The knife is just a secret weapon because it interrupts them, which is very powerful. As you can see, they do have more health. I just want a normal, like this, like you. Let's see how much health you have. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. You, 14. So, okay, that means she had close to 100 health. 14 times 7 is over 100. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking she was special. I'm really thinking she was special, boys. This is hard, but I don't want to. I don't want to change chase all of you away from hard. Because, well, fourteen shots. Maybe I hit the tree. Maybe I hit the tree once by mistake. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost already dead. Okay, so I can't. Normal guys, normal. It's just not going to be a challenge for me. I do. I'm not going to be crazy about how long it will take my traps to kill them on hard you know but other than that one two three three four five six seven eight nine 
Nine. Nine. Okay, that's better. Nine. So they've probably got about 60 out. These ones aren't... Okay. Nine times seven is 63. Yeah, so about 60 health. Okay, so they start out with 20. Between 20... Let's... Yeah, between 20 and... Three shots. Yeah, so they start with 20 on peaceful. Then they probably go to 25 on easy. Yeah, then I think they probably go to 35 on normal and probably 60 on hard okay so the health jumps gets higher very very quickly and as you can see three four five six six seven two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. I'm trying not to hit them in the head, boys. But okay. As you guys can see, hard is where the shit is. Okay? And I have died on hard. Okay. So, okay. This is where the grind begins. Okay? On hard. And I have died on hard. This is where the grind begins. Now, I actually started on survivalist, a difficulty lower than um, a difficulty lower than um, hard, but then their health was just too much. Okay, like I know I've got probably got a hundred health, but if they have a hundred health, then I have to shoot them ten times with a with a bow. Okay, um, which is not that bad, but you must remember your traps. You know, they, they're going to take too long with your traps. So, this is this is the difficulty level. Okay, so we looked at peaceful, run through the game with a breeze. Won't be a challenge for anyone. Easy, still run through the game, but you at least want to know there's enemies. Okay, normal, that's where I feel all of you must play, because as soon as you go to hard, the jump is quite big, okay? For survival fans like me, start on hard. There's three above and three below. It is nicely in the middle, okay? And if you want a real challenge that I'm doing, I put hardcore on, okay? And I don't save the game. I see a bunch of guys playing on hardcore, but they save the game. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you're stuffing up the game. At least you guys know I love suffering, you know? And just be honest with yourself, you know? If you're going to play on hardcore, make sure it's over. You have to start over... But then you can build your base in a different location. Because remember, the map is very big. Every time you start the game, you start at a different location. Okay? So there's a lot of fun things for starting over. But let's take this off. And let's put it here. That is where all of you want to play. Okay? Um, for you guys that never want to die, you guys can play here on Peaceful and Easy. I see a lot of YouTubers playing on Easy. Okay? Normal is where most people are playing and they're even complaining about it, which I will never understand. This is where I'm going to play. Okay, so if you guys want to experience the game at the same level as I'm experiencing, play on hard, you don't have to put hardcore mode on. The first time I played the game, I started on survival. And I don't mind the mutant, the zombies doing more damage. Okay, if they do more damage and there's more of them, that's fantastic. But, you know, putting... 20 arrows into a zombie is just not my way of immersing myself, okay? So, it's almost like that division problem, you know, the spongy, the spongy thing. So, one thing I wish developers would start doing is to stop making enemies spongy, just increase their damage incrementally, okay, and then their numbers. That's all. Increase their damage and their numbers and everything will be fine. And um, challenge and legend, you know, yeah, you can start suffering. Yeah, you're a sucker for punishment, and yeah, you're a legend. Okay, if you survive past day five, you're a legend. There are a lot of ways to cheese the enemy, you know, but then you're just gonna sit there because you built your base on top of a house or a building, or you run across through your traps all night long. You know, you 
You, you, you don't even have to build a base. You can just put the traps on the floor and run in between them so that the mutants go into them constantly. There's a lot of ways to cheese the mutants, okay? But if you're playing normally, you're going to suffer here. So, these are the three difficulty levels that they edit. And that is that they have edited for the big YouTubers that just want to fly through the game, okay? And ask their um, viewers to help them because they are not willing to really put in any effort into it. Some of them don't even go through their key bindings, you know, so they don't even know how to put their lights on. Which is very cringeworthy, but this is what the YouTubers are making easier, okay? This is so hard and downwards, hasn't been edited. That's why there's such a big health jump with the mutants, okay? Now, I'm not quite ready for survival because I can kill them, sure, but the traps, I can't change the amount of damage the traps do, and I don't want to sit there for three hours, you know, while my traps are killing them. And your traps have ammo. Your traps can only do so many rounds of whatever it's doing, then it's out of ammo, okay? Which is also a very important thing. So, for that alone, that you can enjoy your base's traps, I say go for normal, okay? That you can just enjoy your base traps, laugh, and not sit there forever. Even on normal, the mutants are gonna, the zombies are gonna get more difficult. You're gonna get a few cool, um, you know, creatures running to your base trying to stuff it up. But normal, you know, normal is quite nice. I'm gonna play on hard, so if you guys want to experience what I'm experiencing, play it on hard. And the guide um, that I'm going to do for you guys, um, I'm going to do on normal. Okay, I'm going to do the guide series on normal so that, you know, um, I give you guys a good indicator of what most of you are going to experience. The other thing is, when you start a game, you can't play with anyone except her. Okay, which is cool. But I just want to show you guys here something. Okay, some people might go, oh, I want to play with a guy, okay? Most of my viewers are men. So boys, if you want to play with a guy, go to multiplayer, host game. Um, I've got a game, but I hope it doesn't delete my game. Don't delete my game! Like you can go, s there, 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 I've got flamethrowers and shit, I'm going to show you guys cool shit, I'm on day two. Um, game dates. I finished day two, man. Damn it. Okay, in any case, here, new game. So here you can go uh, put your name in, put your password in, and put the amount of players in. Okay? Um, if you want friends to play with you, you can let them play with you. You can go up to 16 players, just no multiplayer doesn't work great. It will look good for you, but your friends will experience weird stuff. They won't be very happy. So... You can put in four there, you know, if your friend, if some of your closest friends really want to play with you, and then you just put your password in so that only they, they can join. And then you can even make it PvP so you guys kill each other. But um, what I usually do, um, I, I like to leave it on four, you know, and then my close friends can maybe, you know, join me later if they want to. If you never want someone to join you, you can put it on one, guys. And put there, put there in one, two, three, okay. And then as soon as you create this game with only one player, now you can choose again. You can do this again, this. But now you've got a choice between a really cool black guy, the woman, but then this dude that I'm playing with currently, and then this dude. This I like this dude. I think I'm going to do the guide with with this dude the thing is i want to do the guide with a woman because i don't know if multiplayer changes anything you know about the story um or whatever but yeah i'd like to do the guide with this guy when i you know when my upgrade comes but yeah yeah you guys can choose four characters this guy this guy looks really cool um so yeah you've got four character choices okay if you don't want to play with a woman um, and that's it boys from me for an early access game um, 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 it's not perfect okay it's very far from perfect 
And let me guys, let me let me guys, let me show you guys what legend looks like. Um, or do we have to go legend? No, no. That, uh, there you're gonna suffer. Let's just go to survival. Damn! Put the hardcore on. There we go. Is, was that in time? I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys survival. I don't want to show you guys challenge or legend. You know, that's just gonna spoil the game for you completely. Do not take challenge or legend. Don't take those last two difficulty levels, okay? Hard or survival, depending on how tough you think you are. And then most of you take normal. And the crybabies take peaceful and easy, okay? But yeah, it's addictive. Definitely. Much more addictive than Seven Days to Die for me. Um... And then anything I've played so far, I've played a lot of games and none of them pulled me back into the game like this thing pulls me back into it. Like I say, it's far from perfect, but the concept, the concept is cool. And here we go. We got our new character. Got our starting area. We've got our journal that's got a story with the map. And we're starting at a different area. Okay, we were here last time. Now we're starting here. So we start at various locations. Sorry for that. Sorry for the if it lags, guys. Um, it is a bit PC intensive. And if you're wondering about graphic settings, if you're struggling, which you will, I feel with this game, um, your textures. Yeah, if you're struggling a lot, put put your textures on low. Put everything on low, but keep your anti-aliasing on high. Okay, everything on low with the anti-aliasing on high, I feel still looks good. Um, and it performs well, okay. I just put my textures up because the zombies' faces um, look a bit, a bit too, you know, too blocky for me. So I just put the textures up. But, yeah, you can play with everything on high. Just know that if your PC starts killing itself, you have to start lowering effects, foliage and view distance and shadows, Okay. So start at shadows, work your way down before you touch anti-aliasing post-processing textures. Um, turn these three to low. And then you work your way from the top. To, you know, then you then turn down textures and post-processing. You know, and don't touch anti-aliasing. Because if you touch anti-aliasing, the game is just going to be way too ugly. You can see I'm playing with everything on low. But my anti-aliasing is on high. I can put it to very high, then it looks even better. And with the textures, yeah, with the textures um, on medium, and everything is good. Everything looks good. I actually don't like it when everything is on high because you get a very grainy, a very grainy effect. Okay. But here you can see because we start would have started there, we we could have looted a heck of a lot of places. But now let's see what our hero can do. And yes, guys, I'm playing on multiplayer now. Nothing changes. Okay, nothing changes. I don't know about the story, but nothing else changes. So let's just take on one person, one zombie here with our knife. Because we're a hero. Come on, dude. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Come here. Eight. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 9, 10, 10, 11. Okay, guys. This is what we're talking about when you go over zombie numbers. Okay? Their health and their numbers. So let's look let's look at what it looks like if I want to play like I played on normal. Oh. Not working out for you, son. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Please take my advice. Do not play on anything higher than survival. Okay, I'm going to play on hard. Maybe one day I'll try survival again. But it's not about how far she can die it's about how long your traps will take to kill them that will kill the game for you guys do i love this amount of damage yes when it comes to the towns i love this amount of damage do i love 
how long it takes me to kill them. No. That breaks the game for me, just like The Division. I hate bullet sponges because it breaks the immersion. It pulls me out of the game. If they do more damage to me, that's fine. That offers me a challenge. But it's not going to let me, you know, it's not going to take me three hours to kill, th you know, to kill ten mutants. It will still take me the same amount of time to kill them. I just have to be more careful because they do more damage or there are more of them. Okay. So what I hope developers do is stop increasing their health because that is what, spo what spoils games. Luckily in this game, normal is perfect for everyone and then you decide how much more of a challenge you want. This is Luthias. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button. If you want to see future content of this, leave it in the comments down below. Give me a, a yes, 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 you want more content of this game. And then if you're not subscribed yet, do yourself a favor, just go click that sub button, boys. This is, in my personal opinion, when it comes to pure survival, I know I said Fallout 4 is the best, but Fallout 4, um, you know, is very story driven. This is, you know, like miscreated, only single player um, and with various challenges. And it's, it's in the beginning. This is a perfect game in early access, you know, that I've never heard about. This is great. So the, the 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 potential for the future is phenomenal. Price is great. Buy it. No questions asked. It's great value for money. Cheers.